Hello everybody. Dark come back with a video here. It's night time, Christmas Day. But it's only dark now, so I guess it's Christmas night. Been straightening up my greenhouse, got some Christmas lights in there, uh, not just for Christmas, but uh, they put out a little bit of heat. Heat the greenhouse up a little bit. It don't cost that much electric to run. Uh, got a fan blowing in, you probably can't see it. Elbow, elbow on the fan pointing down so it don't suck in rain. So we'll go inside the greenhouse. Uh, two six foot by eight foot Harbor Freight greenhouses put together. So it's six feet by 16 feet. Got a dog out here, it's probably gonna be doing some barking. So put this first greenhouse up. 2016. Year, a year later, maybe two years later, added another one. And I've got room to add one more here in the front, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't need it. Uh, Put these up on treated lumber, you can't see it. Treated lumber on the bottom, anchored them down with rebar. Let's go inside. Shut the door, it makes noise. Uh, I planted some tomato plants down here. And got this big tall shelf way up high to have tomato plants. Viral when I thought I was going to raise fish. Uh, Got drop cords run out, surge protector, lights, ham radio, and uh, our pump left over from my fish tank days back when I tried to raise fish in those barrels in the back. Uh, grew a spinach down here last in this bed, got this shelf set up, got my Coleman stove out here. I cooked uh, apple juice, apple cider in this pot and added cinnamon. When it was done, I added a store-bought vanilla vodka and regular vodka and put it in jars and gave it away as Christmas presents. So I got this shelf, and uh, what I had was this shelf, another shelf here I took out to make room for this. So I had uh, one, two, three shelves to grow microgreens, which I did. Uh, at one time, I had 1,100 and 1,400 plants. Tomato plants, cucumbers, squash plants, uh, pepper plants. First greenhouse is here. Got this shelf left. And this shelf. And they got this bed. I grew uh, lettuce and spinach down here. I planted some uh, ginseng. Never came up. Uh, got some barrels left back there. Three barrels. I'm actually draining one right now with a hose. It's a slow process. The clear hose you use on fish tanks, I'm siphoning it out, going to drain this water out of these barrels. Old stuff left over from the fish tank days, uh, air filters and air pumps, and that shelf. I told I had fish in, I gotta get this out of here. So I got this shelf, and uh, there was once another shelf up here, took out. Another shelf here I took out. And I had a shelf in the corner I took out, so I can still put those shelves back, but I don't really need them. I've got that bed on the bottom, this shelf, that shelf, and this shelf, and that bed down there, second greenhouse, this shelf, this shelf, that bed, and that bed. So I can add uh, dirt and then four beds on the bottom and got these uh, one, two, three, four, five, five shelves. So it's plenty big enough, two six foot by eight foot Harbor Freight greenhouses put together. Put them together by myself. You really need help. Uh, put the first one up. Uh, it's hard to do by yourself. The panels wouldn't go in, it wasn't square. So what I did was I whacked that with a three pound hammer about three times. And it knocked that whole frame back and made it square so those panels went in. Okay. Everybody knocks Harbor Freight Greenhouses. Here's what happens. They've been here five years. Wind blows on the panels on the outside and pushes in. They don't go anywhere. But if you got the windows open and that door open, wind comes in through the windows and through the doors. And if you push out on these, they'll blow out. The wind coming in through the open windows and open doors, they'll blow out. I bumped this one a while ago, knocked it loose, and had to go outside and fix it. That's the deal with Harbor Freight Greenhouses. Keep the windows and doors shut. I put those windows in and I don't need them. 
my newest and second greenhouse, I never installed the windows, but I still have them in my garage. Uh, it's solid panels, solid. Don't need those windows. So I got a fan back there to blow in. This fan will blow in, and this fan will blow out, which I have a plastic bag over it to keep the heat in. So that fan blowing out, that fan blowing in, I can circulate air through here all day long. In the summer months, it gets up over 100 degrees in here. So I'm going to start using it again. I tried uh, raising plants to sell and never done any good with that. Uh, tomato plants, pepper plants, and raised spinach, greens, and all different things. Had some fish tanks in here, a 50 gallon glass aquarium. Tried raising tilapia, never done any good. So, so I just started to come out and do some cooking on the Coleman stove. Like camping and being outdoors, it's winter time. Can't go camping and cooking on the lake or river, so I'll just cook in my greenhouse. Just to update here, uh, when I put up that first greenhouse right there, created the Facebook group Greenhouses and Gardens 2016. It's now 2021. Greenhouses and Gardens has 160,000 members. I created that group for this first greenhouse, Harbor Freight. Been here five years, solid as that can be. Put it up on treated lumber, anchored it down with rebarb. Reimbursed it with, uh, or uh, what's the right, right word for that? Reinforced it with these joints, these metal brackets, these metal joints, and anchored it down with the uh, metal fence posts. But the first greenhouse is anchored down with the uh, rebarb. Can't see it, but. Drove rebarb to the two before the foundation anchored down. Uh, back last summer had a big storm. Two panels blew out. Two. In the five years it's been here, two panels came out, and that's all. And I just put them back. You go outside and you shake it on the corner, it's pretty darn solid. It won't move. It's solid. It's anchored down on treated lumber. It's. Uh, I use too many screws. I put the screws to it. And I screwed her down in that treated lumber on the foundation. It ain't going nowhere. Christmas lights give out a little bit of heat. Don't cost much electric. I can't tell. It, it, they might raise the temperature 5 degrees. Got a thermometer here. 60 degrees here. And it's kind of warm outside anyway. But uh, got some heaters here if I need them. So anyway, just to update. My greenhouse got a fluorescent light up here. That light fixture. Light up here, I can turn it on. Ham radio, if I want to talk on my amateur radio. Been doing some cooking out here and uh, Coleman stove. I'm going to put some plywood on this shelf. It's sagging down in the middle. The wire is sagging down. Use the wire mesh so water can go through when I water my plants. But I'm going to put plywood up here and make me a bench to start doing some cooking recipes and different things. Just want to do an update on my greenhouse. Posted online, the greenhouse group, uh, greenhouse and gardens. Um, that's why I created that group for this greenhouse. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and have a Merry Christmas. I'll be back.